friends welcome to another video from Shomu's biology and in this video again I'm going to give you a cool idea about how to qualify CSI net exam and tips and tricks related to CSI net exam preparation so stay tuned and watch this video because this is going to save you a lot of time and think of what topic you need to prepare first and what topic not so let's begin with the idea the idea is a CSI net exam is a huge syllabus it's 13 different modules questions are asked from each of those modules so huge questions you need to answer even you, you need to prepare even more so I get this question quite often that which topics should we go for preparation for the first or from the beginning because you know some people may find it difficult to completely prepare 13 modules and go for the exam now one thing is that people think that this exam time is six months now actually between two consecutive exams of CSI and net life sciences there are two six months in the gap but actually it does not mean you have six months you can have one year you can have two years even you can appear for the exam anytime you want so it's not it's not mandatory to appear for each and every exam so if you think that you need one year to prepare 13 modules take your time appear after that one year it's not mandatory that go for every year and because it's actually even bad if you go and appear for every single net exam and you're not qualifying it's going to give you a bad idea it's, it's, it's not it won't be good for your confidence as well you think like I'm not qualifying I'm applying for five times in a row I'm not applying that's not the thing if you need time take your time but meanwhile prepare very well that's my idea now anyways uh, in this case what I'm going to tell you like what way to manage the time because you know if I take six months in your hand let's begin with the six month in, in our hand in this six month we want to prepare for, for the exam now 13 modules in six months that means two modules uh, every month at least that is a hectic thing man because uh, modules like uh, biochemistry completely module one modules like uh, developmental biology which is itself uh, a huge chapter which could be which uh, people can do MSc with so how can you complete so many things in this small town actually you don't have to the idea is you know the idea of this question papers and the CSI and it uh, syllabus is so much big because the life science discipline is big and it's vast because so many people from different fields will come like zoology botany molecular biology microbiology uh, pharmaceuticals so many different fields people will come and go for this exam so that's why the questions are from different fields and the syllabus is bigger okay it does not mean you have to appear for each and every different modules and answer every single question it does not mean that but uh, it, you can you can kind of get an idea that these are the eight modules I'm going to prepare three module five modules I don't want to prepare right now for this six month exam in the after this exam I'm going to prepare that five modules and then go for it but still whatever you think uh, I'm going to give you an idea about which chapters and which modules are more important compared to the other actually uh, there is nothing called more important or less important as I told you because the questions being asked from each and every module so approximately average same number of questions asked from each and every single module and it's justified because let's say you're from zoology background so you'll be happy to see questions from uh, the animal classification uh, the ecology environmental biology evolutionary biology now another of your friend is from microbiology so that person will be happy to get question from uh, the bacterial growth and the fundamental process like DNA replication transcription translation and another of your friend is from botany so he'll be uh, interested in getting question from the plant physiology or classical botany so that is why for all the people they decided to give questions from every different modules and that's kind of justified but the thing is again most of the questions even though they tell it's a 13 module syllabus and it's a huge syllabus and questions are asked from all the modules but still there are some modules they focus much compared to the rest of the modules so I can tell you kind of a uh, figure of overall number of modules that you can prepare and take it as a unified thing that if you prepare for those modules you're going to attend maximum number of questions I'm not going to tell you like you're going to 100% number of questions by this fashion the only way to attend 100% question is to prepare the all 13 modules but if you're not willing to do that or you don't have time for that you can go for preparation of let's say this few modules that I'm going to tell you to answer maximum number of questions 
Now, one thing you can uh, look for, the, the only thing that can help you to understand and figure out which modules you should go for is what I called question selection ratio. This is the thing I, I invented, the idea I invented. Question selection ratio or QSR is a measure of how you figure out which module is beneficial compared to the other. How can you figure out? It's a simple ratio of, so just take a pen and paper, you'll get the idea. QSR, question selection ratio equals to the total number of marks coming from one module divided by the time taken for the preparation of that module. Got the idea? Total marks we get from that module, the total number of questions that we get from that module divided by the time invested to prepare that module for the exam. That's going to give a simple idea. That means if you get more marks of questions and less time to prepare, the number of QSR is high and higher QSR means it is a good module to prepare. Go for it. But if you need more time to prepare for that module and less marks of question can be attended, that means that module is bad. It's not economic at all. You can also tell it as an economic coefficient. That's going to give you an idea. The value of QSR you calculate for each of the modules for your preparation and you think of uh, how you need for this preparation. So now you figure out these things for your own. For example, I'm giving you some, uh, some tips like that. Uh, let's take uh, the animal physiology, module number seven. Now I find this module not economic. Why? Because if you go for this module, uh, in animal physiology, you need to go for whole animal classification. And for each and every different animals, you need to go for their uh, cardiac cycle, their respiratory cycle, their digestive cycle, their excretory cycle, and every different things. Along with that human uh, physiology as well. So all these things. And they will ask you a question, four to five questions from there. Now, if you want to prepare all these things from this part, how much time it will require? Huge time. And question only five so the value the QSR value here is less so I don't want this to be prepared so I keep it aside so that's that's a simple example like it depends on you how much time you require to prepare so the value for QSR will not be universal it might be different and changing for different people for example immunology though it's not a complete module but it's a topic Immunology. Immunology is a good subject. People like to read it and learn it. It's a very interesting subject at all. But the problem is, immunology is a huge topic. And the question you can get from immunology in your net exam is only one or two in group C or one or two in group B. I'm just talking about group C for now because maximum questions are being asked from there. So, in immunology, you can go for like uh, only two questions or one question for example but for preparation of immunology it requires a long time right because you start preparing from books like Kubi books like Janeway's immunology Abbas and so many books and a huge topic of immunology you can get only one or two questions and the time taken one month so two question one month the value is insanely low so you're not going to take immunology for the preparation so these are the things this is how you can go another thing you can go for example uh, the module number nine most people avoid this module but let me tell you one thing about module number nine it's in the biogeographical realm of India so sure question of two four marks question you can get from module number nine every single time two questions and you hardly need to remember three or four pages of data for that so it's hugely economic go for that this is the example of different uh, way of calculating this question selection ratio and question selection ratio that's going to give you an idea about whether you module to choose or not to choose and based on this idea I can tell you a few modules that uh, I find myself as a high QSR value and the example of those modules are one is uh, definitely biochemistry you can go for that uh, then that's module number one you can go for module number uh, two you can go for module number five which is developmental biology module number eight genetics hugely important module go for module number 10 9 module number 11 and 12 13 
these are the modules I find much more important and also module number six that is plant physiology which is also a good QSR value module so go for these modules and I think it will be helpful for you and will also save you some time for your preparation and also it will help you to take a decision of which topic to read which topic not to read now the value for QSR is not only fixed for modules you can also apply this value for topics for different topics as well as I told you like immunology as a topic we apply for that plant physiology is a topic we apply for that and you can get your answers on your own check this out it will save you some time so if you like my video please hit the like button to get more and more such trips and tricks uh, hit the subscribe button to get that and share this video with your friends because they will also need some help before exam and sharing is caring so thank you